technical difficulty. We'll fix that. Linked up with a couple X's just to make sure I'm Yeah, where y'all watching the game at? You were just about to say the same thing. about to say the same thing. I'm for them to accept it. Then any nigga they had, or any nigga that's the next man, go on. They fuck around and do some crazy shit. Like try to lock me down forever on some baby shit. Oh, uh, sorry, this is a good John over there? Yeah, it's definitely a sports man. If we're here for you, the bitches are that John, bro. It's a sports man. It's the problem with being the same. Trying to set them down early, won't have me in the chain. Sitting on the side, but I'm trying to be in the game. Yeah, he might be crawling back across the bridge, fucking around with both. And I be trying to come back with something by my spirits is tracked into the the one the wedding ring, so I be dumb found to Hey, that's Christmas Eve. CC round town, man. What the hell? That I love him. The one situation, I just really want to fuck him. And after I come through, I hit it crazy, then I tuck him. I just might leave a hoodie or a shirt. Yeah, you know what? I have my son. He got to go to his mom. Damn. I'm a pro with this shit. I drop him off after this game. Like we be rolling this shit. I feel a head with lies, but she be knowing this Shout shit. Out to the so when it's time for goodbye, she start too. hoeing this shit. Come on. Well, sir, nephew. Dice in my hand now, so I be rolling this shit. And my bars like nephew. Flowing this shit. And her ass real fast, so I be holding her shit. Come on. Come on. Come on. Is you sure again? What's that? You dripping stuff? What's that? Fire, man. <laughs> Hold on, let me uh, get your, your, your placement. You sure want me? Just leave it there. I get you. My circle tight on my family getting close to me. Watch out for friends because they turn into snakes supposedly. That's why I keep my distance. Family here forever. Friends are leaving my distance. These relationships are tempting. Is it, yo, is it showing that we laugh? Are we live now? Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. I've seen that. Let's just put up. Alright, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hmm? I'm sorry. I'm going to have to get like a bigger ass cane. Like, you know, her, my son fucking these Jones up. Yeah. I was floating for some days. What is it? Like I caught my stride. Was that the man? The luck mix. I ain't gonna say the right. Lightly sold it. She can't decide. She want a thug or a corporate guy. I won't save her. I almost passed you some cash on pecans. That shit would be rude to the guys. I was surprised, but I kept my eyes glued to the sky. Can't trade a million dollar future for a dime. Oh my God, these hoes distractions. That pussy cold, you frozen in action. I get it though. Nobody told you what happened when you were fed. Jakers, baby. That's that motherfucking oh, nephew, you know what I'm saying? Go tune in to Static 215. Yo, right yo, now, you got the yo, unprivileged relax, drinkers, man. Yeah, we about to get relax. this shit popping, you mean? Rude boy. <laughs> relax. Yeah, I mean? You got why, OK. Why, 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 why? Yeah, I mean? You got, you got angry O and aggressive. Yo, y'all going to the R uh, to Jamaica next year? Nigga, what are you talking about? Oh, both of y'all going? Word. Of course. Absolutely. <laughs> Yo, we yo, gonna yo. Have so yeah, we about to get this shit started, man. You we know what I'm saying? Flag. You know what it is. Yo, so I need to turn that down. It's Cowboys Week. Cowboys Eagle Week, man. We <laughs> ready. Make sure, you, make sure you fix that shit. It ain't yeah, just Cowboys. Cowboys. I know, I know. You know what I mean? You know it's no disrespect. You know what I'm saying? We, we yeah. here, man. We been waiting for this Cowboys shit all year. We get done. Right, well, what the hell was that, man? You see it. This our <laughs> platinum. This our platinum. This our platinum. What is it? Platinum phone, nigga. <laughs> the tur- a turnover chain? <laughs> Yeah, I turn over change, dog. Fuck out of here. 100% uranium phone. <laughs> <laughs> Made in Las Vegas, Nevada, baby. Hey, yo, look, dig this, though. I ain't gonna hold you, man. What's this up? Year, this year is it, a lot different than years previous, man. Yeah? Like, Talk to me. This shit, this shit, this shit mean, mean a little bit different. We got the brother and the ex-quarterback. Two brothers. But I mean, you heard what Shady said. Your boy asked. 
send your boy his ass. I mean, he's entitled to his opinion. Okay, who we'll makes some ass? I mean, I mean, look at it. Look what he's doing right now. If we, if we, if we going off of what you have done, what you have done for me lately. I mean, what? He ain't been managing the games lately. Are you serious, man? I'm not. He's been making turnovers and bad decisions these last three weeks. Uh, I mean, we got we got to save for the pot. You know what I mean, we'll see. Yeah, so 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 yeah. So, uh, so, so listen, man. Right, yeah. So I mean, we live and direct. We on Instagram and Facebook right now. So thank y'all for tapping in. We see you. Uh, who's that? Uh, DJ Grant Q. We see you, Micah. Who that? Uh, Dirt tapped in there. Yes sir. Yes sir. Yes sir. Yeah, I mean, my man Ant. Shout out. Oh, wait, wait. Oh. So um, yeah, we. I'm saying we ready, man. Like I said, it's Cowboys yeah. Eagles week. The Eagles want to go see the Cowboys. Uh, it was Saturday at what? Four? Is it four fifteen? Four? Four o'clock? Four o'clock start. Four o'clock start. Four, four, four o'clock, o'clock start. Not even ready. That's the team. That team. The team thinks just like that. They're not ready. <laughs> the I don't whole, think we all lost. The whole point is, man. Like we played y'all early this year. We played with our backup quarterback. The game was somewhat close for quite some time. It was. Um, we was up twenty to three at half. Oh my God! Oh. I'm talking about in the, in the second play. half. Let the okay. I'm talking about the second half. Listen, all right. So let let me start with this because I I know motherfuckers want to jump. They want to jump the gun, right? Y'all the best team record wise on in the, in the NFL right now. You know what I'm saying? So Jalen Hurts is playing at an MVP level. Offensive line is pretty good. Um, defensive line is great. Y'all lead the league in sacks. I think it might be the second best defense in the league. I think the San Francisco 49ers might be a tad bit better. I think they're a little bit more physical. Um, what, what am I missing? Uh, Slay is uh, probably a top five cornerback, maybe two. It depends on how you look at it. Um, what else? Uh, what, what, I mean, what am I missing something, man? Like, I, if, if I'm missing something, missing. tell me, tell me. i tell you what you're missing. Go ahead. And, and I'm giving you kudos, dude, because I, I, this, this, is, this is coming from you, bro. I, I never really heard yeah. talk like this about the Eagles. I mean, it's, 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 the facts is the facts. I, I never dispute the facts. Taking road trips with you in the game in high school territory, bro. Yeah. And you really, you really, I, I, I respect your, your honesty today. I mean, I, I'm not going. I'm not going. I'm not going fraud. I don't mean to interrupt your conversation, brother. But here's why I got to interrupt. Mm-hmm. Now, here's been like, here's why I'm gonna go full fledged Ole Anderson on you, brother. Okay. You take that fucking mask off, off, yo. (laughs) The Kodak Black mask off, too. Go ahead. quarterback is the worst quarterback in the division. Okay. The worst. That's your opinion? The worst. By far. By far. Yo. Hold on, hold on. Yo, for the last 10 minutes, man, I wasn't on this motherfucker. And then I'm going to let you talk. I I justify that by saying he leads, and I, I think, and I believe, and I go to my phone for the stats. He leads, if not the lead, he's in the top five in interceptions. Okay. He probably what does that mean? the division as far as quarterbacks in interceptions. And I bet you, I bet you, like y'all listen to, you know, Hit Bayless, because I won't call him by his full I don't. Name, Hit Bayless. I bet you his QBR rating is the worst or one of the worst in the league. Now, you talk to me about that, brother. I highly doubt no, that. No. He still finished even the last game that just against the Jaguars. He still uh, finished with a quarterback rating over a hundred. So that ain't true. I know that's not true. That was one game, All right? But I'm just, I'm just, but he's played really, he's played really good. You know what I mean? Like ever since he's come back, he's been go ahead, go ahead. He ain't playing, he ain't playing up to the big bucks right now. I see that. Oh, oh well, you know, I mean, not, not right now. I mean, and, and and I would say this, I I believe that that suffering. How can I put this? You know, you know, I say a nigga suffering from lack of having paper. Well, that's not his suffering because he got all the paper in the world. But what he is suffering from is a lack of weapons. No, like, who, well, one, who I would say. Coop leaving hurts y'all. For sure. I agree to that. It hurts y'all. What's his weapons besides CD Lamb and Sidarius? I'm calling him Cat by the first name. Sidarius. <laughs> The Darius and and, and and Dakota, the combination stinks. It stunk all year, bro. They stink. Mm-hmm. It doesn't add up to winning football. Mike McCarthy is on his way out after this year. 
and you are in officially uh, uh, Saturday to show help me you. understand how does this think and we're 10 and 4 how, how does this think explain it to me you ever, you ever heard, I, I, I believe uh, sometimes like sometimes like like my, my partner angry Chan, he's an angry motherfucker bro. he, he sure is there. angry and wrong the, the hatred for, for Dallas is, is, is by far the worst he can be biased that time he can all but right. at the end of the day, I'm going to get credit where credit due. Your boy Parsons is playing good, but he got he got what you call neutralized these last couple weeks. And anybody can. You like, run at like him. If he rushing the passer, if, if y'all got to rush the passer, say y'all up and y'all and you know that the, the, the opposing team has to pass. This is what's supposed to work for y'all. Y'all built y'all, y'all defense around rushing the passer. Mm-hmm. But lately, that shit ain't been working for y'all. So, hey man. So let's speak. Let's like, see, I, y'all, y'all speak. Like sometimes people speak in opinions, and that's cool. I don't have a problem with that. I'm only going to speak with facts. Um, okay. So the fact is, Dak's last interception against the Jaguars was not his fault. It was great ball placement. It just bounced off the receiver. However, there's no asterisk against an uh, interception. It just goes in on the quarterback. However, it was perfect placement. It would have been a first down. The first Correct. one. The first one that was thrown, which was uh, sailed over uh, Dalton Schultz's head, his arm was hit. So the arm, so the ball uh, basically floated, and you know the ball was intercepted. That's cool. They gave it gave him a chance to come back. But the biggest issue right now for this team, the Cowboys, is cornerback. That's the reason Ooh. we lost two of our cornerbacks, our starting cornerbacks, the slot and our outside, Anthony Brown and Jordan Lewis. One to an Achilles, I think one to, uh, I don't know, was the ACL or, 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 t- or something. But yeah, I forgot. Either way, we're missing two of our top cornerbacks. Now, I'm not using that as an excuse because we can go back in, in, in time and say that teams have overcome injuries, including y'all. Y'all are one of those teams who, who overcame injuries and won the yeah, Super Bowl. Right, so I'm not using that as a shoot. I'm just giving you an example of what's going on and why it's going on. So that's my whole point of, in bringing that up. But – the blame is easily equally to go around to all the whole team. We're used to playing with a lead, which means we can send our defense at at, at quarterbacks at, at at a crazy pace. Like we got people that come off the bench and get like probably got five sacks right now. That's not happening because we we've been in a little bit of dog fights at the end of games, even with the Texans. But prior to that, we smoked the Colts, and that was just what three yeah, weeks you ago. Start playing before quarter, but yeah. Right, so that's what I'm saying. Like it's just. You know what I mean? Like things is just catching up, you know. And I don't find it. I, I'm not I'm trying. Like I said, I'm still not going to make an excuse. They do need to play a lot better than what they've been playing. But at the same time, calling my quarterback trash, like that's crazy. Like that. That's crazy. Yeah, like the shit. That's what I'm saying. That's crazy. Like I'm not going to say he's a top five quarterback, but he's still playing like a top ten quarterback. Can I? Can I? Can I interject here real quick? Absolutely. Because I'm only using facts. And I, and, and I agree with you with the facts. So here's the facts. Here's, here's in the words of Samuel L. Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> I'm privileged drinkers, baby. Here's some facts for your ass. Now. Go. Is it true or is it not true that Mike McCarthy has not won a Super Bowl <laughs> since he's been with Green Bay? He's only coached oh, since Green Bay. That's what he's doing. He only put what he coached us. Is there any coaching us? Yes. And is it also true that Dallas has had talent every year, including with Mike McCarthy, and has been billed or picked by every national analyst in America to at least win the division and, if not win the division, go far the, the, the vet. And y'all fail every year. How? We won a division you last year. Did you see that Mike Nolan defense? Did you see that Mike Nolan defense? Say this, though. Now, now listen. Say this. I say, I say this. Like injuries is a part of the game. We, we gonna get that. We gonna get it. We gonna we gonna play that up right now. Right. So this is the mm-hmm. NFL, mm-hmm. and it's it's said to me that as a thirteen and one NFL football team, we still don't get the credit that's deserving when it comes to looking at us play on the field. It's all said that we haven't played anybody, but right. we're playing. The teams that's in front of us. Y'all play similar teams. Shit, hell, y'all lost to the teams that we beat. Preach, brother. So, so how so what, is it that the Cowboys are still in some analyst's eyes 
as the team to beat the East. I don't get it. Read on. I don't understand. All right, so I'm going to let Dre respond first. Go ahead, Dre. What's your rebuttal? Because we're America's team, Jack. That's why. A lot of them analysts, man, they, they, they Cowboys bias, you know what I mean? This is why El Cowboy died. He, 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 he never sees the film. He's going to say some dumb shit every time. To, to come hey, out it is what it is. I, as of right now, I, I wouldn't call us like Super Bowl favorites. And, you know what I mean? Nah, I wouldn't. Nah, I wouldn't say that. I haven't up until, let me see, this past week. I never really predicted this was going to Super Bowl this year anyway. What's actually happening right now is a fucking honestly a shock for me. Okay. And somewhat because uh, it is, but it ain't because of the schedule we're both playing. Mm-hmm. We're playing soft ass schedule. I can agree with that. I mean, the AFC South. Um, we just lost to the Jaguars, but again, you know, referencing back to what we said, hey, Anthony Brandon Joe, who has been there, that shit would never happen. Hey, that, that shit, we would never been in predicament to even have to make that that, that, that throw in, uh, at, at the last minute. Mm-hmm. That's overtime, yeah. I'm, 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 I need I need to, I need to see you with this. All right, so think about this now. Now you now you said that is unexpected to you. You didn't expect this, but I expected us to doing. make the playoffs. Right, but look at what the Eagles are doing, and this is all unexpected to a lot of people that didn't expect Jalen to play as good as he played. Mm-hmm. Right? Thank that, you for that, saying that. That didn't allow, didn't expect our 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 offensive weapons to be as good as they were. Or as uh, good as they are, mm-hmm. and, and the system, they, like like your boy Parker is a system based. Is, is it the system hey. or is it Jalen? Well, why are they not saying that about Josh Allen? Is it the system? But they or did though. They said that before he got Stephon Diggs. The right. same thing they, they said about so the same thing they said about Dak before he got Amari Cooper. It happens to everybody. Everybody so makes it because it's the hot right. topic right, right. now. Yes. So why is it good? Why is it good for that part? But not because we got AJ. That's not our fault. Our GM made that move. It's not about <laughs> fault. It's not about fault, though. It's just that the conversation just changed from year to year, from person to person. He, he needed help, obviously. He got help. But you, but why would you want a quarterback not to have help? No, I'm, I'm not disagreeing with that. I say that I don't have a problem with the analytics. The analytics. No, the analysts. I, I know what you're saying. This is this is why you don't base analytics. Uh, 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 this is why I despise, and I, I, y'all probably can agree with me with this. I despise analyst analytics in football, bro, because it doesn't make sense. Some of those, some of those analytics statistics doesn't add up to win on the field because it, it'll have you doing or or basing your judgment of how to call a game or anything. Based on analytics, and it'll mess your whole team up. That's just my. Opinion. I'm gonna tell you this. Let me tell you something about analytics. I'm listening. We can do what the fuck they doing. So, <laughs> so, really good. I, so let me say something real quick. And, and as far as analytics go, because I, I think it's made the game a little bit more technical than what it was previously, and we can speak to that just because y'all Super Bowl winning coach went. He goes for more fourth downs than probably any other coach in the league, right? Any coach in the league. Yeah. So true. that came through analytics. That came knowing that you, you have a better chance to win the game going for it on fourth down, fourth and short, maybe fourth right. and five at the most. And it's, it's right. So it's it's worked for you. So you can't bark at it in one way and then be happy about it when it works for you. So that's just it's just a part I'm of the game good, now. Bro. So you got to accept it for what it is. I'm a you see what I'm saying? Bro. Even though I love the Eagles, I'm still a football player. And, and you, let me let me not um, say it like this where I'm saying that I didn't. Except the Super Bowl, I mean, go with the flow. Of course, I don't give. I don't give a damn what we run and go. How we get it? Mm-hmm. But at the same token, as as me being a football purist, I I just can't analytics in in sports period. Analytics in my sports, man. I mean, I, don't, I, I, I hear what you're saying because the game evolves, man. Like that, that's just a part of the game. So yeah. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get back to just Cowboys Eagles shit, right? Um, I'm gonna start with the game this year because I don't want to go. I don't want to go into the past. I'm going to stay right in, in the current uh, state Absolutely. that we're in. So, in your opinion, from what y'all have seen from your team, had Dak played, y'all believe y'all still would have won that game, correct? All right. I believe we would have won that game. I believe we would have won that game only because of 
the way our offense plays. Mm-hmm. Now, with that playing, it makes a difference because the throws that Cooper Rush, the, the athleticism that Cooper Rush don't display mm-hmm. allows that to keep plays going when he's mobile in the pocket. So that's something we was able to rush. We was able to rush Cooper Rush without it says Cooper Rush Rush. <laughs> we was able to rush rush him without him without the threat of running. So now it changes the dynamic of with that inserted into the lineup. We gotta we gotta really a test for him to take it off, even though he don't do it much. And we know that Dak scrambles to throw down field. Okay. So that's that's an element in his game that we have to really look at. So it, it would make a difference. Mm-hmm. But, but you still I believe y'all would win the game? We would have won the game because of our the way our offense plays. Okay. All right. So, what you going to say, T? All right. I, I, I kind of differ from his opinion. Go ahead. I think that. We would have won no matter what, which is the same way we're going to win now. <laughs> Running the ball. No, I'm, 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 I'm listening. I'm listening. I'm listening. We're going to run the ball down your throat like we did because we have the better offensive line versus the defensive line. Okay. That's fact. Man, we can't be run on. Okay. That has happened. It just happened in Jacksonville where you let ET and E go off on you. So I think Miles is a better running back than him. In the first game, Miles ate you up and, and game well. Okay, and I'm, I'm going to make this other thing short. Hey, if y'all okay. use Miles, <laughs> you're right. Y'all so so with him. Hold on, let me finish. And this short tweet. I said, def- I, I said uh, running the ball, but defensively on that line, bro, with the offensive, with, with, with the uh, injuries that y'all sustained. I know you don't trust Jason Peters, bro. Mr. Foster <laughs> I trust him moving forward, not backing up past a second. Oh, my God. Mr. Sparks saw himself. Okay. I love our defensive line and the fact that we're healthy now, where we can where we can kind of slot, stop, not stop, but slow down what y'all do best and what y'all should do in order to, to kind of get that back in the groove is running the ball. So, I mean, I'm going to leave it at that. I'm going to let you guys respond. Because I'm going right, to say something else after, after I hear Drake. I, go I, ahead, Kat. So you think you so, think we would have beat them if Dak was playing? Absolutely, absolutely. He changed the whole game. You gotta respect his 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 best asset is is actually uh, throwing out the pocket while on the move. So y'all had to respect that. That play action you definitely gotta respect that more. I'm pretty sure y'all wasn't respecting it. Y'all wasn't respecting it at all. Too rushing there. Everything opens up with Dak on the field. Okay. It does. Even though he doesn't run, he will. Like you said, he will run. Presented the opportunity. But y'all, what y'all was up? What seventeen three one to the half? Yeah, we 20, like twenty to three at half. Twenty to three. Twenty yeah. to three. I mean, that, that, that's now what sometimes is, we do have a habit of starting off slow. I will say but that. Was solid on but that comeback. But that comeback we was on. We'll just finish the deal with Dak Prescott, I'm sure. What about so, – oh, what's he saying? He's a gamer. So, at that time – what was that? We played Joe at week – was that like that six was or seven? Week seven, I think. Yeah, it was something like that, middle of the uh, – I, 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 Go ahead. Go ahead. Make your point. I'll tell you. So, in my opinion, I think we would have – I think with him, the team galvanized around him. He's a real leader. The one thing, um, them coming in, I think that was what, 2016 they came in. It was like that quarterback class was uh, Goff, Wentz, Dak. Yeah. I think the most notable names from that draft class as far as quarterbacks go. Dak, he he is the Paul only Brown. one that's still on the team that drafted him. The biggest reason for that is he's a vocal leader and he just leads by example. So while people don't like him for whatever their reasons are, or because, I'm going to say whatever, it's because he plays for the Cowboys, obviously. Um, you know what it is. Yeah. Oh, yo, Dre. Uh, Q says, "Stop eating nuts." <laughs> oh, 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 whoa! So, oh, that's nuts wall, nuts. <laughs> but that's shout out to DJ Greg Q. Out of pocket. But no, seriously. So, I'm just saying, like, I think the team when he plays, the team like like really rallies behind him. Um, they respond to him in a way that I I, I don't think even the they responded to Romo. You know what I'm saying? Like. 
he has a different level of uh, leadership. So with that, I do believe that we could have, I think we would have, even if I don't think we would have won 100%, like I'm not going to say definitively like 100%, I know we would have won, but I'm more leaning towards like that 70 percentile. Like I feel like we have, a, we would have had a greater, a much greater chance to win than we did with Cooper Rush. Cooper Rush is not stretching the defense. He's making the most safe throws. Like, you know what I'm saying? And that's cool. I, I'm not I'm not mad at that because he managed the game well that enough like for us ball, to still be in position that we are today. So I'm cool with what he did. But we've seen over the years, I think Dak's record against the Eagles might be like 7-2, seven 7-3, and two, seven and three, something like that. Right. So me saying that, is to say, and I know a couple of them games is like y'all set starters and whatever the case may be. But as you just, as you said, you only play what's in front of you. If y'all got y'all sitting, y'all starters, that's on y'all. We still out there to play. We, we playing football, so that's just what it is. My my yeah, point. They said, yeah, my point in start. saying all of that shit is. No, I'm saying my point in saying all of that is. I think we would have had a greater, greater chance of winning than we would have then. Now, if we fast forward to this coming Saturday, which we all – we amped up about. That's what we're really here for. You know what I'm saying? Saturday, we don't know if Hurts is playing or not. I don't know if y'all if any other reports has come out, but I know they were saying that he hurt his shoulder on that play where the ball landed on him, and he was going through it. And he still played through the game. So that, that's another, like, kudos and hats off to him because he played through so, a sprained shoulder. So that, yeah, so that's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what we talking about this? So what we talking about this week? You know what I'm saying? Like, right, so this week, what we talking I about? Think, I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't think I think that with the up in the air, with with, with it being up in the air, that Kurt, Hurts may start, may not. Mm-hmm. To be honest, I think that we're we're playing on a level right now that even if Hurts don't play, I think that our defense is is solid enough. To withstand the Dallas Cowboys offensive power, which is Pollard, Lamb, Dak. Mm-hmm. You know, and I understand that y'all y'all getting a little bit healthy at the offensive line. But what's going what, what the, with the with where the game gonna be won at is in the trenches. The game gonna be won in the trenches. Who won it more? And I think that I think that the Eagles won it a little more because of what's at stake. Like right now, it's kind of hard for y'all to even catch up. Yeah, 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 so for sure. Why not nip it? In oh, the yeah, that's right. right. Yeah, I'm... why not end it right now? Nip it in the butt, end it right now. So then we got three, four weeks to rest our starters to get healthy, ready for that playoff run. Mm-hmm. So I think, I think the outcome, whether we start or Minshew, not saying Minshew is the greatest thing since Mike Green, but he's <laughs> able to manage the game enough to, to, squeeze, to squeeze the win out, man. I really believe that. Okay. So, so you, 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 you guaranteeing victory? How about this? I'm, I'm gonna say it on air. Okay. And you gotta do your push-ups on air, Mr. <laughs> El Capitan. We're gonna get 25. I'm privileged drinkers, baby. On air, and, and, and we calling that show the IASP show. <laughs> hey, hey. What you gonna be looking like when you when doing, you, the, when you doing them 25? I want to Nah, I, I'm, I'm a military pusher. My, my man Angry Tab was in the military. I need him sound it off. Whoa. Yeah, I need him all sound it off. Because it's going to be that type of weekend. It's going to be that type of weekend, bro. Face down. Hey. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, yo. T, you got to chill, bro. I thought I thought, 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 I
Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Skip him around. Why not? Yeah. The, the greatest. The greatest in the game been neutralized, man. And Reggie White, Bruce Smith, you know, however you want to play. Hey, Great oh, players hey, neutralized. Hey, oh, hey, oh, your fellow Cowboy fan said that. He said the main, you see you said first, the greatest have been neutralized. Reggie White. Yeah. You see what he said. I don't really know I said that. I mean, what the? <laughs> hey, he wanted the greatest ever did it. We just getting up. We just getting on this. And, uh, we know what you represent, bro. We know you. Hey, like, I'm here. not. So. Listen, I think. Here's my I, and I'll I'll give you my my concern is our cornerback Kelvin Joseph. Well, if y'all well, not well, smart well, enough well, to fucking attack him, man, y'all need to just go right at him. Our run game, I mean, well, our run defense hasn't been the best. I would say y'all need to run the ball, and, and if y'all don't do that and, and turn you Joseph, either way, I think y'all gonna lose. But y'all y'all have a better success rate and you know um, for accomplishing a victory. Uh, sticking to those keys, man, because Kelvin Joseph, he, he likes to put his hands on people. Um, Devontae Smith is a quick cat, so we can't get his hands on him. That's the end of that. <laughs> oh, what you think, huh? What you so, think, huh? Why are you like that? Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Listen, I think our combination, man, of, of uh, Zeke and, and, and Pilot going to cause some issues for y'all, and the play action is going to be big this week. Play is going to be real big this week, man. We're we going to do some funky shit and get y'all with Tony Pollard. Um, y'all got y'all got two. Zeke ain't what he used to be, but he's effective in what he does now. He gets some tough yards. And he grinds it out. Um, you got your boy Sue. He might try to jab him up a little bit, smack him up back his head like he did my from <laughs> Justin Fields last week. Got to watch out for dirty, dirty Sue over there. Um, but, yeah, I'm, I'm not, like I said, as far as them two concerns, our run defense, and Kelvin Joseph, man, I think we uh honestly, I would say if we win, which I believe we will, we're gonna beat y'all by seven points. Ooh, that's a bold statement. Solid, so so hold I, let me let me read a little bit of the chat real quick because people come in, they they've been saying shit for oh, a little yeah, while. Heavy, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh hold up, where we at here? Uh so one of my guys, Ant, shout out to Ant. Uh, he said we would have murdered them if we played if shout Dak would have played. He talking about the first game. Uh, somebody said, man, st- oh, he's talking about you. He said, stop eating them nuts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and let me say this. Let me say this. If Hurts plays, really, all you gotta do for him is make him a, a pass. What's that RPO shit? Me and Reese discuss this shit all the time. Once that RPO shit stop working. Last week he was throwing, listen, duck ball, cell balls, all types of balls. In Windy City, man, <laughs> oh, my game is a game, of bro. Yo, hey, listen. All right, Before hold I- up, hold up. So let me finish this real quick so I can say. All right, so somebody oh, said I- he also said in order for Minshew to manage the game, he thinks the run game is going to torches. But because let's not forget, majority of the run game is hurts. So basically, he's saying that if Minshew's playing. It ain't gonna be the same as far as the running game goes because that RPO shit is no. obviously a big part of that. I doubt that. Cause, yeah. Because uh, Miles got a sack. Miles contributes big time. The, but the big part oh. of that is because you got to worry about oh, Jalen. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I mean, um, are y'all going? I was listen. Are y'all going to use Miles? Y'all like? Yes, we got. Michael Parsons <laughs> going to set a single sack record, DC for life. That's Chad Frost seventy nine. Thanks for tapping in. We appreciate it. Thank uh, you, bro. B, uh, Leon Phelps, you know, Brian, 11 from heaven. Uh, shout out to Jake, uh, Jake Fever, my guy, the Yak King. Still his name. Damn, yes, rip. sir. Shout out. That's right. Rest in peace, Franco Harris. That's right. Uh, Franco Harris did pass Absolutely. today. Yeah. Rest in peace. Right. Uh, he also said that the, his biggest concern is uh, Leighton Vander Ash not being able to play. That's the one right there. That's major, too. And major Dirty too, tapped in and said Jalen Hurts, Booby Sanders, Lane Johnson, Big Play Slay, Hassan Reddick, AJ Brown. Landon Dickerson, Need I Jason, more, Jason Kelsey. I think Need he might have said something more, before dirty. that. Eight Pro Bowls. Oh, he's talking about the, they, they all made the Pro Bowl. He made the Pro Bowl? All of the, the names I just listed, they all made the Pro Bowl. Eight, eight selections. Man. Dirty, before my brother killed me. Dirty. Great analyst, my brother. Because he just said, he just rattled off a bunch of names and that segues me right back into what we were just talking about. Uh, uh, 
when you just said, what's the keys to the game? Mm -hmm. Those names you just named are the keys to the game. And if, if, if three, out of, three out of those players perform well on Saturday night, you can give your ass to Jesus. No, you can give your heart to Jesus, but your ass belongs to us. I got this one more thing funny. to say. Hold up, hold up. I ain't never even seen the hold up, hold up. This oh, boy is no, a clean. I know you're going to say some shit. This motherfucker is crazy, man. This is sick, yo. We ain't played a clean game in a while, man. We 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 need a we need a clean game, man. A clean up. game, no right, interceptions, so, no turnovers. So listen here, right? Y'all playing in Cowboy Stadium, it's AT and T Stadium. True. So y'all y'all coming to us? Obviously, it's not a it's not a far flight and nothing like that. So it ain't like you going from the East Coast to the West Three Coast. Three hours and like fifteen that. minutes, probably exactly. Yeah, it's, it's a quick that, flight. We know that very well. Right, right. We know the flight. You know what I'm saying? Um. But here's my thing, y'all do. I got. I mentioned before. I don't know if. I mean, who was tapped in at that time early on? I gave y'all y'all gave y'all y'all flowers. I, I'm not taking that away from you. The one person that can tell you that I said before the season started, I thought y'all was going to win a division because we haven't had a back to back winner like as far as the division goes since like what 2004, 2005, and that was y'all or something. So. I gave, I told TJ at Renee Wetton, I said, yo, y'all going to probably win the, the fucking division. And the reason why I said that is not just because of that, but also I thought y'all GM was way more aggressive in the offseason off season and, and putting pieces in place than Jerry and Steven was. We gave away pieces and didn't really replace them. So now when that's catching up with you, you getting all that Odell bullshit and we signed T.Y. Hilton and shit like that because you know you need another receiver. <laughs> At the Who's end of the day, yeah, Ty is playing this week. Um, I expect Dude, for him to be out on the field a little bit, but I, that's the biggest gap I think was him trading away Coop. It took away Dax, like first guy he looks at. Now him and CD got to get on that that wavelength that that you usually get on when you see a number one and a number one receiver and a quarterback gets on. I haven't seen it just yet where you just like that's automatic. I think CD does a lot more after the catch than it is him getting that that good ball placement where it's like, damn, that was a great throw. And which I have seen Jalen do a few times throughout the course of the year with him and AJ Brown. Their connections is um is spot on. So again, I'm I'm trying to give y'all y'all flowers. And I'm not I just, I'm not gonna hate. I'm not gonna hate. I what I see, it is pretty good. But I do also say, and I have been saying that a lot of it is due to and it's predicated off of the RPO. When you when you're running that, which is very gimmicky, because when you have to be a pure pocket passer, that's what I want to see from him. And again, we, we've I've said this about every quarterback that's coming to the league over the last ten years or so. Show me what you can do when you got to stand back there, and we are seeing it right now with the Lamar Jackson thing. He did all that running, he got an MVP, but you can't throw the ball outside the hashes, my man. You your your, your biggest asset is your tight end. And that's what most of these running quarterbacks is. Also, like we can go back to right, we can go back to, to uh Vic. Like the, Vic, his biggest target was who? Algie Crumpler. He had a Roddy White, but couldn't get him the ball. So all I'm saying is get a man a chance. I'm not hating on him. Get that black man a chance, because I know a lot of fans around the city and people that I know were saying, damn, we won we won quarterback away from a Super Bowl prior to the year starting. Now it's like we Super Bowl bound, right? Yeah. And that's cool because he is playing that good. He is playing at an MVP level. Nobody can take that from him. He's playing better in this year than I believe that um, Lamar Jackson was playing in his MVP year just because he's a better pocket passer from what I've seen so far. I agree with that. He's a better pocket passer. Right. Going, into, going into this game, I wish he was 100%. Because I don't want to, I don't want to deal with any of the bullshit. I really don't want to hear none of the you oh well he up. hurt and is this is that. But the one thing I will say, and with this, this was the argument from last week. If if this is the big if, if Gardner Minshew goes out there and he does beat us, which y'all think y'all can beat us regardless of who the quarterback is, that proves Micah's point that it's the system and not the quarterback. So I disagree. No. If no. he goes out there and win, why wouldn't it? Because everything uh, goes on the quarterback. No. When you win, you get all the credit. When you lose, you, you take all the you take all the uh, responsibility for the losses too. Go ahead, see. Go ahead, absolutely. Now, I, I can I, I hear you when you say you agree with Michael Parsons if that does happen. But here's why I disagree. Go ahead. If you look at what how Hurts is casting the ball this year, man, 
And like I watch, I watch some as all season. I ain't no, I ain't no analyst, but I watch some as all season footage on YouTube, like most fans do. Mm-hmm. And him working with Tom House, bro, you can see the, the 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 great effect that it has on his deep ball. His deep ball this year is superb, bro. Absolutely. And last year when he had his deep ball going, you can see that it wasn't as 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 crisp as it is this year. Mm-hmm. I mean that thing is like dropping off a string in the bucket. So I that's agree. Where I beg to differ about the system because in a system you still have to make certain throws, and in this system he's making the throws on time. He's throwing behind linebackers' ears when linebackers <laughs> have his turned in the middle. He's made some great throws. I'm not taking that away from him. I mean he's on point. Yo, I, I and to elaborate over an angry tag, yo. Like what I'm seeing from her, mm-hmm. like I watch, I watch the the, ele- the, the elevation of the, the the elevation of how he elevated his game. Mm-hmm. When he was at Alabama, I'm gonna go back to Alabama. Mm-hmm. Coming in as a freshman, he was mobile, he was strong, he was physical, he can throw the ball. But now I watch be mobile squatting six hundred pounds. I watched this show, the YouTube channel. It was it was Jalen Hurts. Preparing to be an NFL quarterback. Mm-hmm. And preparing to be an NFL quarterback, you got to be in a lab with all kinds of people. They ask you all kinds of questions. They ask you to draw up coverages and how you're going to beat the coverage and mm-hmm. all that. And I saw that he knew what he was talking about. So when he transferred from Alabama to, to Oklahoma, he displayed that level of com- Complacency, sort of. Shout out Vinny. He was able to Vinny just joined throws. the chat. They wasn't able to see his elevation because they wasn't worrying about the Jada Hurts who could throw the ball. They mm-hmm. just knew he was a mobile quarterback. Right. So when the Eagles drafted him, that was going, that was kind of like a steal because he had the intangibles that every quarterback that came out in that draft, he had the intangibles. It's just that everybody was looking at he lost his job. To, to Tua Valunga, whatever the fuck his name is. So that's what people measure his 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 level of 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 uh, leadership on. Mm-hmm. He lost his job to a quarterback that wasn't even in in in, in the lineup. So when he when he, when he did that, he transferred to Oklahoma and he displayed the level of competitiveness yeah. and, and leadership, and he displayed that. So coming into the draft, he was moving up on draft boards. He was moving up on draft boards where people was looking at him like, this kid is really doing his job. So when I hear Micah Parsons say it's the system, I don't believe it's the system. I believe that he's a quarterback that evolved, that got better and wanted to get better. That's the difference. His will to want to get better is what is what is what leveled him upon like the Josh Allen, the 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 uh. The, 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 so, so I got a question. Wait, wait, wait! Before you say something, so wait, you put him in the same conversation with Josh Allen and like Mahomes as far as like quarterbacks? Absolutely. I, I, oh, I, oh, oh, oh! There's the bomb. Hit the button! Hit the button! There's the bomb. I believe he's displaying. The, the talent that he's capable of, of, of in, like, like the, the consistency. I believe this year, with the talent that he has, he's displaying that he should be in the names of them. He should be. Off of what? Off of what? Three quarters of a season? Damn. Yo. That's heavy he talk. Last year, look at how he evolved last year with nothing. Okay. He led our team to the playoffs. Damn. When nobody had us going. I mean, we saw Carson Wentz do that for you, too, with not a thousand yard receiver, so. You know why? Don't let them exactly. Him again, bro. You mentioned that Carson went. Carson can't even tie hey, his man. Hold on. Oh, wow. Damn, I got a question, that's crazy. Because no, no, I, 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 I listen to 97.5 too, man. Let me talk and a lot of you guys, so y'all were Hurts believers from the rip. Carson yeah. Wentz, you never yeah. wanted him to stalk. He always stalk. I believe in the brother. At the MVP in 2017, Carson Wentz, Wentz Mania and all that shit. What the fuck? I'm confused. Man, he said Josh Allen, though. That's crazy. I'm going to say this on air. Here you go. My boy Rob. Rob. 
y'all know y'all know Rob. He said the brother gonna be good. And angry sad over here. here go. No, no, bro. <laughs> he ain't got Garfrey Wentz is the guy. He ain't got <laughs> He was and saying I, it like a couple years ago. He definitely said that. I heard him say it myself. I said, I, said, I, 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 I damn sure did. I'm a, I said, bro, Carson lacks the leadership ability that Jalen Hurts displayed. But see, that we ain't know that at the time. It, that just came out. We didn't know that how bad it was That's as far as leadership. Saying. We ain't know that, That's though. What I'm so now that, that Jalen Hurts is explaining his leadership, you hear people talk about him on the team that, like, they talk about him highly, bro. Well, yeah. First one in, last one to leave. You just ought to. His will to get better, knowing that the naysayers are saying that he can't do it, is what I love about him. All right. Team. Now, we done touched on our boys. About how we feel about him, and he exposed me, which I don't know why his nut ass did that. That's all, That's all good. Don't worry about it. I got some for you. I expose you to the folks that don't know. But I want to ask you guys a question. How do you feel about Dak and his progression going forward as the leader of your team? You want to go first? Uh, I'll go first. All right. I'll be um, going first. So I'm going to just talk about where I know he's come from, and I'm going to give you more so like where he's going. Uh, coming into the league in 2016, we were more of a running team. Zeke, that was Zeke's team. Everybody knows that. That's not a dispute. That's not a question. We had, I think, uh, Asian Des Bryant, um, maybe Terrence Williams, Jason Witten. You know what I'm saying? Like, we had – the, the team was like – that was Romo's team, and they was going out. They were coming in. Um, fast forward, uh, maybe like a year or two, they walked them out there. The year we traded for um, – the year we traded for uh, Amari Cooper, I think that was 2018 or 2019, one or the other. They walked him out there with Alan Hearns, like Hit Bryce, Bryce hey. Butler, uh, Blake Jarwin. It was like some like a bunch was, of misfits, oh, wow. but yeah, it was it was terrible. Like the replacement. Yeah, 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 yeah. Seriously, it was bad. Yeah, no reason the replacement. So here's what I'm gonna say to what y'all was just saying. Like we saw him progress and become a real quarterback that threw for 4,000 yards. Once he got a number one, a legit wide receiver. And that was with Amari Cooper. On top of that, we drafted Michael Gallup, uh, obviously C.D. Lamb. We had three solid receivers for like two years, two and a half years. So mm-hmm. coming into this year, obviously, we traded away Amari Cooper. He's no longer there. You know what I'm saying? So now you got a you got a guy that's coming off an ACL injury um, and Michael mm-hmm. Gallup. C.D. Lamb, who you want to become the number one, who's never been in that role as far as a, a, a pro athlete. And behind him is Noah Brown, a six-round draft pick out of Ohio State in that same draft of 2016. Um, who else? Uh, somebody, uh, right Dennis now. Houston, a practice squad player coming into this year. Like Turbin. That f- <laughs> Get it, man, Turbin. Right, that yeah, right. We, the, well, Kevontae Turbin is more like a kick returner. We haven't put him at like receiver like that to really like run routes, but we ain't have nobody coming into the year. Like if we comparing the Cowboys to the Eagles receivers, y'all had the better receivers without question. Y'all got a Heisman Trophy winner and a thousand yard receiver, a multiple thousand yard receiver, and AJ Brown. Right? We basically trying to figure this shit out for real, for real. You know what I'm saying? Like that's what this yeah. year was about as far as receivers go. We were trying to figure this shit out, and, he, they, and they did pretty decent, but I still believe he needs another receiver that he can trust when they are bracketing C.D. Lamb, the same way they used to do with Amari Cooper. When Amari Cooper was being bracketed, you had a Gallup, and you had C.D. Lamb underneath in a slot. We, that's what we had. We don't have that no more, so now we playing on some like like how he was before. He, yeah, he playing like he was before. Is having a year that he's having and he was so cru- crucial to right. success. And t- right, right, and that's another reason. Like Tony Pollard is catching more ca- uh, catches out the uh, backfield than he did in previous years because we don't have another receiver to to complement CD Lamb as a number one receiver, and he's was and thrusted he's into that role. Make that move, right? So yeah. I say all that to say that going forward, I'm I'm hoping that there's a receiver that we either draft because we drafted Jalen Tobert out of South Alabama in the third round. This motherfucker ain't. I don't know yeah, what the fuck they good. did with this. He ain't did shit, bro. I don't. I don't know what the fuck that's about. But yeah, no. Nah. Yeah, like you know what I mean. Like that shit ain't work at all. So bringing in uh, T. Y. Hilton, Odell Beckham, and all his the names that they keep talking about, 
We need a legitimate number two receiver to CD Lamb in order for Dak to actually progress the way they want him to. They took his number one weapon away and expected for him to do more with less. And that's why you see him forcing passes in there. Like Dak is typically a safe quarterback. He has one of the records of in 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 uh in the NFL without throwing an interception in like I don't know like maybe eight eight games or something like that. So he's really yeah. safe with the ball. It's just the simple fact that he's he's pressing now. That's all. Yeah, he feel like he got to do more. Hey, so, Vinny got the chill. Jury, the jury, huh? Vinny tells him Michael Irvin and Alvin Harper got to come out of retirement. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, the, the jury's still out, man, because uh, cause C.D. Lamb, man, he's uh, he's developing into a number one receiver. Right. Uh, I honestly always thought he was a great 1B to uh, Amari Cooper. So he's been forced to be the number one receiver. Um, and I think right now he's progressing uh, quite well. Um, as as Reese stated, as far as getting number two, that would help us out tremendously. Mm-hmm. The, the run game is there. We run a lot of that play action. Um, no, not too much RPO like you guys do. but And, and Dak doesn't throw guys open. You got to you, you gotta be like, Open like in the NFL, like by like a little small bar. He ain't gonna throw you open. Um, I think the four games missed um, hurt his progression a little bit, but you know it, it is what it is, and he he, he feels the need to like press right now. Yeah, he does. That's and, a fact. And, and when and for whatever Some reason, bullshit. I don't think Kellen Moore sometimes is helping my man out, man, with these fucking play calls, yo. Mm-hmm. Because that last play call, we ran four fucking verticals, yo. Yeah, yeah. And when he, when he, that last when he, when he threw that interception, that <laughs> last play call, with I, Noah fucking I, I, Brown, I with Noah Brown. No, I don't want to hear that. See, C- 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 Lamb was was double covered and triple covered, whatever the fuck he yeah, was. They bracket the shit out of C. He had 127 yards. You had to design a play to get your ace open. I don't give a fuck how you do it. Uh, <laughs> that's all I play for. He was the one that did a four so, of, of, of offensive play calling, bro, just a year ago and a year before that. I don't want to hear that. <laughs> I think, I think Noah Brown is a blocking he, wide receiver, yo. I think the most important yeah, he sure the fuck what, huh? In Dallas Eagles rivalry, bro. Mm-hmm. Think about it, yo. Think about how far back this shit go. Like, think about oh. when, when yeah, y'all quit. was fucking yeah, out of control. When y'all was beating the, I ain't gonna say that. When y'all was beating the <laughs> shit out of us, and, and we were suffering. We were suffering in those years. Mm-hmm. And we got Buddy. Buddy Ball. You know how Buddy Ball go. He, he do the motherfucker. The, that was the original of the, 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 the bounty game. <laughs> <Real shit. laughs> Dirty, yeah, grimy motherfucker. Right, right. <laughs> Ain't shit. He made out of the bounty game. But going forward now, I think Nick Sirianni is, is, is right now, he made one mistake, which was wearing a beat Dallas. He got caught up in the rhetoric of the fans and all that, like we do. He got caught up. He was, he was like a fanboy, like me. But <laughs> since he has calmed that down, we've been on the road, bro. That's a and fact. This year, like I told y'all before, and I tell you again, I just I don't want to beat you once. I don't even want to beat you twice. <laughs> I want to wear your ass out. Three Yo, what I tell you? Pause, pause. I was waiting until you got to this point. Please <laughs> yeah. let me talk. Are you finished? You been talking this shit. Ah, right, ew. How we did y'all in '09? You That's what you call complete domination. Back to back weeks, complete domination. I remember exactly where I was at. During that playoff game, I was in Lily Park at an Eagles fan's house, mm-hmm. bunch of diehard Eagles fans, and we tattooed that ass. <laughs> I, I just, I just wanted, to, and, and and then segue into that. Uh, I wanted to ask both you guys, how did you feel? You know what I'm saying? After that three, after that three times, bro. I know, I know, it had to be on, like you felt like. On uh, y'all want to go? Uh, so y'all want to go back? That, that three, hold up, hold up, hold up. Let's take a shot real quick. Let's take a shot real quick. Hold on. Well, damn, I've been sipping. I guess. Oh, right, you can sip it. It don't matter. Let's take a shot real quick. Let's take a I shot. Mean, I'm shot. Everybody, everybody that's watching, yeah, you know I mean, go ahead, get a shot. Whatever you got, let me know what you got. You know what I'm saying, I got some. Uh, 
So basically, in dark round, man. I, I got ball, some ball. some tequila real quick. So everybody get a, uh, so, a shot going. I, I will say this. School y'all and drink it. This is uh, not meant to be shot it. This is better served sip. You know what I mean? Sip on this. It's a slow sipper. Grab you a nice little cigar or whatever. Or don't don't have it with a cigar. But it compliments the cigar very well. The cigar compliments uh, the, the dark route. The dark route beats are eating very well. Oh, what you got, Bacardi? But, we oh, yeah, Bacardi. Right now. Goodness gracious, give me a Coca Cola or Pepsi with some honey <laughs> in that motherfucking thing. Oh, shit. He got some, uh, he got some Henny, pure white Henny, uh, B do. Uh, let's see. All right, yeah, that's right. Shout out to Eb. Eb, birthday coming up this weekend. Shout out to Eb. Happy birthday, Eb. Man, fuck that, nigga. we gonna drink this Bacardi Gold and get right. Cause All right, come on, let's go. I'm waiting on y'all. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, I'm waiting on y'all. Then I can get back to, to my Saturday, point. We to knock at somebody. <laughs> <laughs> Dirty Yo, got dark ride. And make sure y'all answer y'all phones too. Absolutely. No, all right, listen. Together, so we ain't Let's get it. Anytime. Shot o'clock. Drink up. Shot o'clock. Sip o'clock. Drink Tap up. Tap the table. Shout out to hey, respect the old sales and the status get you in. I'm privileged drinkers, baby. So That's I'm sir. Yes, sir. I'm privileged drinkers, baby. But yeah, I, since y'all want to talk about like old shit, you know what I'm saying? Let me let me get a people a little uh little preview of some old shit that your man was doing. Hold on, so stay tuned real quick. Shock the world tonight. No, the world. Yeah. They don't believe in us. Yeah. We gonna shock the world. <laughs> so awesome. Let's go. First down. <laughs> First down, motherfuckers. First down, motherfuckers. First down. Yo. Oh, that shit man. is classic. Every time. Every time. Hey, man. I, 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 I got to use that slogan in, 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 on us right now, bro. Underprivileged drinker. Yeah. yeah. Experience. They don't believe in us. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Yeah, there's no I, honestly, man. I'll say this, man. You two guys, man, are like my favorite people to watch uh, games with, man. Like, love, love. especially the fucking Eagles, man. For sure. Especially the Eagles, man. I don't watch basketball events with y'all fight. Come on, Shane. Remember that shit? Come on, Shane. <laughs> we going to Baker Street. Shane, let's go, Shane. I'm and like, this is crazy. Boy. Yo. Yeah, Passion about bullshit. y'all sports, man. I know what y'all talking about. Very knowledgeable, man. I, I'll say that, man. I, I respect you guys' opinion. Even though we still gonna kick y'all motherfucking ass. <laughs> like who? Like like who told oh in oh eight? Or with the dollars? Who told him that, Reese? It was Greg they Ellis. Knew. It was oh, Greg, oh, 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 Greg well, Ellis. Well, Greg Ellis told him he was gonna kick their ass. Ooh, ooh. I ain't like his black ass. <laughs> yeah, Greg Ellis said he was gonna whoop his ass. Go ahead, go ahead. No, no, they knew it said win a playoff game. That's what Nate no, said. He, Nate told him win the Super Bowl. Nate told me win the Super Bowl. I ain't like his fat ass. But in the beginning, he said, <laughs> it ain't fat no more. Bro, he lost all that weight. Man, hey, yo, hey, we, hey, hey, um, we, was, at, we, we, we was at the wing house. We was at the yep. wing house. Wing house. My boy, my boy, my boy. First time in Dallas, man. The the stuff, I'll never forget and that, man. I will never forget that. I will never forget that. He said, and, and my boy, shout out to my boy Rel, because he was the only Eagle fan other than myself there. He said, Where are all the Eagle fans? And <laughs> I, was the Eagle I was the first up, up close and front. Rel was in the back. Front and center. For sure. So, you, know what, you know what Michael said? I like your energy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was, the, yeah, that was Michael Irvin on uh, radio I show. Like yeah. But we shut that shit down, though, didn't we? It was it was about 60, 70,000 motherfuckers in there, dog. Right, right. So, so let's speak on that. Like, so we went to Dallas the first time, all of us. It was me, Cat, O, and Rel. That was a 08. I think that was the second week of the season. It was like September, like yeah, um, something like it was like the second week. It was early. It was real early in the season. Um, that was uh who, who was it? Uh y'all had McNabb, Westbrook. That was what you call him, rookie year, D Jack rookie D-Jack. year. Um that, yeah, that was a good team. Yeah, 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 yeah. Man, that my, was the game. He fumbled at the goal line. He was going across the goal line, dropped it. He tossed uh, that shit back. No, yeah. he tossed it back. Yeah, yeah. He dropped. Well, yeah, dropped it. He basically just let it go um, yeah, before he crossed. Um, 
that game, I think we wound up winning because McNabb tried to hand the ball off to Westbrook, pulled it back in, fumbled. tried to give it back, and then it fumbled. We got the ball. The game was over. I think we won 41-38. Something. I think that, that was, was the score. That was and T.O. Yeah, yeah. caught a bomb that night. Yeah, I yeah. was out my fucking mind when he caught that bomb, Yeah, we went, we went crazy that oh, night. We had a good-ass fucking, fucking time. So let, me, let, me talk to y'all. let me talk to y'all for a minute. So Pro Bowl, you, as we know, the Pro Bowl roster came out. Yep. I, 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 now, in your opinion, we the Eagles got two motherfuckers in the Pro Bowl. And we 13 and 1. Oh, that's bad. We got two motherfuckers in the Pro Bowl, bro. I thought they said eight. We got, we got Kelsey and we got Slay. Oh, no, that's bad. They got Rod. Oh, why he just said that? Hurts is in there. That can't be right, dog. Yeah, I thought yeah, someone. Yeah, that can't be right. No, he said y'all got AJ eight. AJ Brown got to get in there. He said y'all had eight. I named them earlier. Oh, we do got eight. Yeah, what you talking about? No, this pump fake. It's they it's they roster announced for the Pro Bowl. Man, he, coming, uh, no, forget Man, that. he might need a new source. He put the whole thing out. He on NFL communications. Some bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> he needs the NFL site. No, it says eight Pro Bowlers. The I ones that that. Roger Goodell a little slow, dog. <laughs> no. no <laughs> He put false propaganda out there, dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So back to the back to this question y'all asked. The, the 09 John was a good feeling because that was McNabb's last year. Um, I think y'all came to y'all came to AT and T Stadium that year to play us. That was the matter of fact. That was the first year the stadium even opened. Was that and was that shady last year or no? I don't think that. I don't know. I don't remember. I know that was McNabb last year. Remember he came out on some that Michael Jackson shit, like doing the that guitar shit out there in the tunnel. The band, yeah, yeah, he was doing that, that nut shit. Right shit. And we smacked them. Felix Jones and the boys smacked them. But that was, that was a good feeling. I ain't gonna lie. I was with Dre at, at his homie house. The boy, he looked like Jason Witten. Um, he's an Eagle fan. And we was there. It was a good time, though. We, we definitely uh, we felt good about that win. But, yeah, I mean, we fast-forwarded, though. 2022 is what we hitting for. Should have known it was a good omen when an Eagle fan looked like Witten, bro. Hey. going to the bowl because Dre looked like her. <laughs> Yo, who the fuck else said that? Who, who said that to you? We were somewhere. Everybody somewhere. keeps saying that. Hey, people on my route, man. Like I'm fucking Jalen Hurts on the fucking hey, route. That might be your brother. You know your pop was a Rolling Stone. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> that's yeah, fucked well, up. <laughs> but you know what? You know what's the messed up. Yeah, this is way with the ladies for sure. Hey, hey, hey y'all. Right, listen. The messed up thing about it is, so was I. So Zeke Elliott might be related to us. Oh man, get the fuck, yo! <laughs> hey, yo, B, ain't you going to the game, B? I think B, yeah, ain't he going to the game? B going to the that nigga always. I think him and Sammy is. Yo, they always traveling. I watch them. I be following them. Yo, that, yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, let's talk this shit though, man. We we back to twenty. We back to twenty twenty two with it, man. We ain't gonna talk about the past. I believe. I believe with my my guys gonna play. We gonna come. We we gonna whoop that ass, man. It's going. It's, it's so, going with that ass. I, I think we're gonna beat y'all more than seven, man. It's prediction time, baby. Yeah, we can do that. I'm. I'm. I told y'all before. I think it's thirty-one twenty-four. What you say, cat? Uh, shit. I haven't thought about the number yet. I got definitely gonna score at least two times. I give it thirty seventeen, Cowboys. Damn. Uh. Stay angry, chat. I'm gonna tell you right now my prediction in the words of Mr. T. Rocky Three. Hey. <laughs> No, 24 10 bird gang, baby. Damn, we all gonna put up 10 points on y'all. All right, I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say this, and I'm gonna, and I'm gonna be real strategic with this. Because that, I need that 25 push up back. <laughs> Yo, he gonna, he ain't letting that shit go. I want in. I want in. I say, Eagles, Eagles, final score 27 17. Philadelphia mm. Eagles in a victorious matter. No matter who's the quarterback, right? All right, hold no up. I, I got I got three people that just put up numbers. All right, so B said 31 28 walk off field goal. My man Ant shot out to Ant. He says it's gonna be low scoring. He ain't give a number. Oh, 17 10 dollars. My cousin Marcel said 40 to 17 Eagles. God damn. I like that. Damn. I like that. Smoke dog. He talking about they gonna put a motherfucker. Smoke dog. Remember that shit. Remember that shit. God damn. <laughs> Ev said 21, uh, 21 24 uh, Eagles. All right. Okay. I mean, so that, uh, most people got it being close with the exception of my cousin. He said, y'all going to spank the shit out of us. Like, with, that, with that 
that pole looking like, though, Unc? What that pole looking like? Uh, oh, let me check. Let me check. <laughs> <laughs> Look, yeah, listen, y'all can turn it, go that way, fuck with the camera. Yo. Oh. (laughs) Say what? Oh, man, that's some funny ass shit. Hold on, let me go check it now. Uh, the fuck, y'all niggas is sick. Uh Yo, I I got a question for y'all. Hey, hey, um, I got a snowman. I'm going to say it after you check the stack. I'm going to say the snowman, this shit crazy. All right, so. 100%. So right now I got fifty nine percent Eagles, forty one percent Cowboys. That's, 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 that's reasonable. That, that's realistic. Man, we know more Cowboys. I mean, Eagles fans and Cowboys fans. So that's right. That's realistic. But remember that year we went to Texas, right? We was in the cab. It was hotter than fish or something. <laughs> Yo, I already know what you about to say now. <laughs> we get the cab. We get the cab. We go. We go to our state. <laughs> when we said it, <laughs> it's hot. It's hot as shit. Like, damn, dog, you gonna turn the air on? Something like, what the fuck? Right. Oh, that's extra. Oh, right. Where the tip, buddy? Buddy, where the tip? <laughs> Fine. I'm gonna give you free. <laughs> right. And hey, you should be good. <laughs> yeah. Man said, buddy, no tip. Yo, because he raised the pet, the fare for the taxi. It was two dollars a person for the air on. <laughs> Yo, yo, he turned the fucking fear up, man. He pressed the fucking button. He saw us coming, bro. Yeah, yeah, he tried to get us. Well, yo, yo. Before we get out of here, fellas, we gotta definitely, I gotta definitely ask you guys, man, mm-hmm. and, we, and we should all get a chance to do this. What, in the history of the, of the Eagles Cowboys rivalry, even if it's updated, mm-hmm. what is your favorite moment? Of mm, that's Cowboys? easy for me. Mine's real easy. <laughs> Go ahead, what we hit, what we got. That Witten motherfucking catch without the helmet. That's my favorite moment, period. Ooh, I like it. I like I can, it. I, my number two probably would be like that Des Bryant, like three touchdown game against y'all. He was just cooking the shit out of y'all with Romo, but number one for sure is, is Witten. I like that. What about you? What about what about you, Cat? My, my favorite moment? It's, it's well, you talking about play, like you talking about actual play whatever, or like the overall game? Got. Whatever moment in the history, bro. All right, well, it's definitely 09, man. Like, 09, like, that was my favorite move. It's very hard to be the team three times, man. Like, for sure. Yeah, I mean, especially in football. Um, the play, like, I don't know how many times that's ever been done. Right. Uh, but we did it to y'all against a team that I dislike. So that was my favorite moment, probably in fucking uh, yeah, Eagles Cowboy history, I would say, yeah. Well, since I, hey. since I fall first, and and my my man Husky Hernandez bullied me into it, <laughs> I'm I'm gonna say my 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 favorite moment was the Randall Cunningham rough it in, rub it in touchdown mm. against the Cowboys on Tom Landry to send that old bastard into retirement, <laughs> and, that- <laughs> and that's the real deal, bro. And y'all remember, I know it's back in the past, so I'm going to give you one more updated one. Go ahead. To. I'm going to give you one more updated one. The Donovan McNabb, John, bro, when he was in the pocket and he scrambled for, I think, Ooh. God damn. And then through the I hate season, that, that was fucking bad. play. No. I hate that fucking play. And Freddie did the time, about time. <laughs> All right. So my moment was uh, 95, Ray Road, Barry mm-hmm. Swiss. Oh, you gotta do it. Uh, yeah, <laughs> okay. The Eagles, the Eagles are down. It's fourth and one. This and they have to stop the Cowboys. Wait a minute. They stop them, but it's a penalty. They, the Eagles stop them, but it's a penalty. <laughs> so they get a second chance. Oh, come on now. And the world famous. Fucking Meryl Reese. Reese. <laughs> they stop him again. <laughs> 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 And since we gave two, I'm going to give two. That that must win game. Oh. Tony Romo. Oh, Tony man. He's talking about that bad joint. 44 to 6. Woo. He's all, I knew he was where you going with it. Oh, man. That was a shellac. And I still, dang. Be dunk. Be dunk. Let it. Hallelujah. He let it all out. <laughs> Uh, that was so, a bad joke. So, what was your worst moment? Yeah, Marion Barber that year. Yeah, Barber we did. Fumbled, he 
fumbled on like the three yard line. Yep. And yo, silly your hands to return that mother. Silly your hands. These fucking names. <laughs> Hey, so, I heard that name. God knows how long. Yo, B said his favorite moment was when uh, the Dallas touchdown. He was actually at that game. The Dallas touchdown when Coop caught it in overtime or Rasul yeah, I like Douglas. It. I like your moment. Hey, Lee, I felt. Hey, Lee, I felt. And no, we ain't talking about the uh, Pro Bowls. I don't know who else made the Pro Bowl. Uh, and on, or I don't know who made the Pro I think Drees came in and said Tony Pollard made the Pro Bowl, but I don't know if any other Cowboy made it. Pollard made the Pro Bowl? That's what he said. I, th- I don't know if he was joking or not. He said breaking hey, news. I- that's that's because that shit. The Pro Bowl ain't the Pro Bowl. No. This is a skills tournament. They oh man! Play. So when we get ours mentioned, it's, it's it ain't that. It's for that guy. Damn, that's fucked up. So, what was y'all worst moment in Eagles history? Like the, 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 the moment where you felt the worst. Like my man Tech Nine. Are you good? <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> Are you safe? Well, oh shit! So he said Tony Pollard, yeah. C.D. Lamb, Zach Martin, and Turpin. Wow, I mean, I'm surprised. Mean, that, that, Turpin ain't really been playing that good lately. Right, I, that's I'm surprised Turpin made it. He's the best guard in. I, what? Y'all got y'all got my man JP over there. Yeah, he, he more. I'm telling you. He oh, right. he, four. I oh, so he named him more as Micah, he Micah, D. Law. The Cowboys is the worst team ever. We got him on camera saying that. Who? JP. The Cowboys are the worst ever. Oh, yeah. Ever. Yeah, yeah. I'm oh, sorry. Hey, man. Everybody need to check. I mean, hey, man. I mean, hey, hell one, listen, hell one sit at home with the wife, I guess. I'm, 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 if you got I'm, I'm one. I'm going to get some flack from Angry Ted. But if Jerry cut the check, nigga, back in my day, <laughs> I'm playing for that motherfucker, too. <laughs> they got and an Arkansas connection. They both went to Arkansas. So that's what that's. That's, that's, that's an Arkansas yeah, connection. I wouldn't make a baby with a Cowboy fan, bro. <laughs> that's bad. <laughs> The Dang. fuck? <laughs> yeah, what, 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 what loss hurt y'all feelings the most? Y'all, y'all, no, so it was gut wrenching. What, 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 what loss? It ain't gotta be a Cowboys Eagles. Like, what loss hurt y'all feelings the most? No, you gonna go first. I'll go first. I don't know why I keep thinking that that liquor must. If he pull one more drink, I'm gonna end up talking you. Look at this sick yo. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! But yeah, on some real man, the, the loss, and this this is another one, bro. See, I'm, y'all gotta realize I'm a '70s baby man. My 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 Eagles Cowboys rivalry goes back, and I'm gonna be honest with the Pope, with the public. Go ahead, say it. From '83 on, you know what I mean. Even, you know, from from '77 to when I was in the '80s was like my my younger years. '83 on is when I started to realize I love football. Mm-hmm. My rival, I'm in my, my, uh, my moment, the worst loss, Kelvin Martin, bro. The, the punt mm. return. Around he just said my. Knocked us out the playoffs, dog. I cried that day. I literally mm-hmm. cried, bro. Mm-hmm. I literally <laughs> cried real tears, <laughs> My worst <laughs> loss, bro, I ain't going to lose you like that just because like the year y'all beat us three years in a row, bro. That hurt I mean, because I ain't gonna hold you. I always had hope. Oh, I felt like in the playoffs it was gonna be different. Mm-hmm. Like I, I feel like we matched up pretty good with y'all. Like we gave y'all a run for your money. Right. But to beat us three years, three times in a row in one year. That last one was terrible though. We blew the doors off y'all. The last one. That, that hurt the most because the second game was close. Yeah, the second game was close. We played. It was the last game of the season, wasn't it? The last, that shit, we made a stop. And then the playoffs, that shit just got different. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I ain't never seen y'all play that good, that, that good all year. Yeah, they, they, they was just running up and down. I remember Philly Jones just running up and down the field on y'all. So, that was, that was one of my worst losses, bro. B really just put it in the chat, but I, I this is probably mine too. And I think because I felt like we had a good shot, especially going against A Rod, it's that Dez catch, man. That, that, yeah, that I, one, he took mine and said, fuck it. We got the same one. Yeah, that, that one. <laughs> and remember, we was at your pop house watching dad? that John. Yeah, yeah. That's that, what I'm saying. That shit. Bro, I ain't gonna hold you. That that shit, they robbed y'all that way. Yeah, yeah. Listen, yo, what's yeah, crazy yeah, is I think that's what he remember time. <laughs> yeah, that that was uh that, that was 2014. We had a pretty decent year. DeMarco Murray was running up and down the fucking field on people. I think he had yeah, what, he, like he 1800 yards. That. He was killing the game. And I think he might have started that game off with a crazy fumble. I think Julius Peppers knocked the ball out, and I feel like the momentum shifted right there. But, however, 
him catching the ball, taking three steps and diving for the end zone, and I'm not giving him that, at least the catch, it broke my soul. Me and his dad almost got into a fucking fight. That's how mad it was. <laughs> like, this shit was oh, bad. Man. Oh, man. I Like, I that one probably hurt me by far the yeah, most. That hurt my soul, man. Yeah, that shit's that terrible. Shit cut deep. My, my, my runner-up. My runner-up is, is the joint that when I used to live once upon a time ago, and I think you was in the house that time when we was in South Philly, bro. Oh, man. He's talking about which gonna run that fucking pick six back. No, not that one. It was which one? one? Where, I, where I went outside and sat across the street, bro, because we got beat. <laughs> <laughs> which one was that? No, oh. that one outside and sat across the street, because we got beat. That was the Witten game, bro. Oh, 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 that was a Sunday night joint. We was at, uh, I thought we was at um, P Crib, I think. When we had P Crib for that one? When his helmet came off? I think so. I went and sat on the curb, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, he said, worst loss, Romo muffed on the field goal against Seattle. And Dez catch, Romo muff was definitely neck and neck, but I got to get a worse than Seattle, John. Yeah, that was, oh, well, that's, that shit was bad, too. talking about worst loss in, in, in our history. You know, I mean, that's something different. But worst loss than even Cowboy Rodgers, I think Chris Daniel takes the cake, bro. <laughs> well, well, worst loss in y'all history. Because this one that cracked, yo. Listen, I may not like the Eagles, but one put me in stitches, man. Every time I talk about it, man. I'll tell you, because we got we got kicked out of a house after, oh, after that loss. Oh, man. We just talking about this. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead, go ahead, bring it up. Go ahead, Talk 2002. Eagles <laughs> are driving. Them South Florida Let's boys can't. Well, they ain't in South Florida, but them, them fucking Florida boys can't come Florida. up here and Central Florida and playing fucking minus 15 degree weather. Might have been 15 degrees, actually. It was cold as shit. I know oh, that. Our eyes are stacked up against Tampa Bay, man. There's they no way down, Mike they Long, Stott, Warwick Dunn, and them boys going to come up here and run in that field the way they normally do. And it was, I think y'all lost, yo, when McNabb threw that, I thought y'all was at the 10. Ralph said y'all was at the 5 when he threw that pick. What I tell you, I talk so much shit. And, and uh, Reese, uh, Reese Craig, and Mr. Winston, Sir Pay Pops, kicked us the fuck out. If you do not live here, you can go. <laughs> if you're not an Eagle fan, you can go. You got a home down the street, you can go. And, and look, son, you can go with him. It's on the Reese. Hey, 2002, I will never forget that shit, man. Bro, damn. They kicked me out of my own house because they man. lost. Hey, Reese Bone. I yes, sir. One forty-two, bro. If I could, if I could, if I could indulge y'all for a minute, you know I was in the military, right? Yeah, yeah of course. Remember, that Tampa Bay, that Tampa Bay game. No, not the, it wasn't the Tampa Bay game. I believe it was. No, it was Tampa Bay game. We were getting ready to go overseas because they knocked the towers down. Remember? And oh one, yeah. yeah. Oh right, right. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit, yeah, I, I was a fucking tenth one thing. I was in military formation. We got locked down, which means we can't leave the base and we're going straight to Fort Dick. We mm -hmm. might not see the game. I stood up in the formation, bro, in front of everybody against all my sergeants. Back then, my military buddies, you know, most of them played the fantasy football with us. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. shout out to them, man. They weren't going to say nothing, bro. I said, you know what? They gonna brigade me or they gonna lock me up with an artificial fifteen or do whatever they gotta do. But I will be home to see this Eagles game. I don't give a damn about the lock. <laughs> oh well, shit, hit the button, hit the button. Right, right, right. Bro, I'm privileged drinkers, baby. Shout out to a high ranking officer. After he finished his speech, I said, Sir, can I speak politely? I said, listen, man. We about to go to war. I don't know if I'm gonna make it back home or not. But before I go, we got a chance to see the be in the, the, the Super Bowl. I'll probably never see it again. <laughs> I'm willing to go to jail today. I'm gonna see this game tonight at home. Listen, for, for the fans that out there listening, man, the words that he's saying out of his mouth are very authentic, man. He's a diehard Eagle fan, man. Him and his brother, man. Listen, what he said, I wasn't there. But I'll tell you this, I believe it 120%. <laughs> you see it. You see it. I, I, I believe it. 
I'm 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 a silence this because I hear a lot of flack from from my from my cousin Zai, and my little brother Drew. San Fran fans. Peace, I Jack. I Jack. I I used to be a San Francisco 49 Oh yeah, it's folding itself now. Here you go. Expose that. Get on him. So I gotta put it out there. That's the team to worry about. Five years I've been an Eagle fan. So I got time in. I, I, I done went through some wars with the Eagles. But for the likes of the San Fran, I want to face them this year. No, you don't. Because they the team that they face. Nah, they, yeah, no, yeah, you I don't. I want to face them. No, you don't. No, you don't. I, they, 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 man, them boys, is, they, they, they physical. Listen, listen what, let me, what, let me say something. Hold up. Since we're going to jump into that, let's jump into that real quick before we get out of here, right? Absolutely. Nobody wants to play them. Nobody. And if you're saying you do, you don't want to make it past them then. Because at the end of the day, we've already seen they went through three quarterbacks and they still win in games because they run the ball well and their defense and ain't no soft right ass defense. They physical as shit. Right in your mouth, so well, you can say that all you want, but well, they're the well, most physical well, defense well, in the well, fucking well, league. And, and the likes of Rick Flair. And the likes of Rick Flair. Go ahead, say it. You gotta beat the man. And, 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 and let me say something to you. Yeah. Uh, Go ahead, keep talking. Man. So let me say something to you. Y'all took the easiest pass, path of resistance to the Super Bowl back then in 2017, 2018 season. Right. Because y'all okay. played that's fucking that's Matt Ryan and Kirk Cousins. Oh, and, okay. and, no, that no, wasn't Kirk Cousins. Oh, yeah, it was, it was the it was other ball. God damn it. What's his name? Right now. Minnesota ball. It was, uh, damn, what's his name? Nah, Heineke, what the fuck was this little short motherfucking What's the name now? He played for uh he played for uh he played for Buffalo now. Do he? Short ball, man. <laughs> hey, no, oh, what the uh, hell? Look it up, man. Case look Keenum. Up, this a brand Case Keenum. Case motherfucking Keenum. Keenum. Y'all oh, motherfuckers play man. Case Keenum, Matt Ryan, and, and so who Matt was that it? Ryan. That was it, yeah. Because after they had a first round play. Right, but so y'all beat Tom, but y'all had the easiest path of resistance to get to the fucking bowl, my nigga. Y'all ain't play Breeze, yes, y'all, y'all ain't play Aaron Rodgers. Y'all had to go through all of the horses. That's what the shit looking like now. No, y'all had to go. Uh, that's what I'm saying. But if y'all played them, that, that, that ain't the same. That ain't, that ain't the same. The 49ers ain't they ain't dumb. It ain't nothing nice. They, they, they ain't dumb. Hey fellas, in closing, man. See what I mean? Not realistic. <laughs> they not realistic because you don't want to play them. You tripping? I, do, I don't want to play them. I do read. I, that's just my feeling. They gonna, gonna play them. They 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 gonna play them. Chavarius Ward is more physical than Tra- Trayvon uh, Diggs. That nigga Ward is he's physical, bro. Let's get back. Yeah. I'm worried about Dallas. Trayvon like to play off the ball. I'm worried about Dallas this week. You see what worried about other teams got y'all, right? Huh? <laughs> he just keep throwing them shots. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool, bro. Cause that ain't what happened. We 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 got injuries that's piling up. <laughs> Right, Tanko not there. Yo, right, right. We got injuries. Cornerback, slot cornerback. Listen. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> so, listen, man. We had a good ass fucking time, but it, it's That's cool, man. Game, it. It's cool. We're gonna do this shit again. You know what I'm saying? Yo, both games, both games. It definitely gotta be both games. Sir. We could do that. I'm, I might be. I think I'm gonna be home. Yeah, I might be here, so I can do that. That's a good post game show. You got you got to watch these other you know this this other boy he be he be moving he be going a lot of places you got to watch him. Yeah 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 you got to watch him. It's Christmas Eve he might be he might be doing some uh, extracurricular activities. Who <laughs> that? You nigga. Definitely got to be a post game show, bro. I'm awesome man in my life. Uh, we could definitely do that. We could definitely do that. Before, before, oh, I got one more before we go. One more. Hold on, hold on, hold on. No, 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 Yo, this is you. And everybody, you know, 
period. That was my favorite moment ever to watch a game with you. Yo, Yo. That's, that's, it's always a pleasure, man. Rest I love y'all boys, man. Love y'all boys, man. Yo. Absolutely, man. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? You know we're going to make it do what it do, man. Eagles Call Cowboys Week. I'm Eagles Absolutely. Cowboys. And we sign out what's up with the what's up. Indeed, man. It's all about that star, baby. <laughs> <laughs> the Eagles, don't get no better. Yeah. I was floating for some days, but I feel like I caught my stride. Was getting to it, then the shorty caught my eye. She said, hello. I ain't gonna lie, caught me by surprise. She can't decide. She want a thug or a corporate guy. I won't save her. Respectfully, she can move to the side. Can't bring a hoe home. That shit'd be rude to the guys. I was surprised, but I kept my eyes glued to the sky. Can't trade a million dollar future for a dime. Oh my God, these hoes, distractions. That pussy cold, leave you frozen in action. I get it, though. Nobody told you what happened when you been faithful, but your main girl been a hoe. I ate that shit for dinner though You think she faithful dog But she really been a hoe I laid her down Then I turned her to a sinner though And left it on her body Like that shit was henna though Imagine giving up your future For a bad bitch Did she disappear like it's magic You get your heart away She hold it to his baggage Then turn around She like here you can have it I never let it happen Stay on my toes Grab the rubber when I'm cracking It's too much going on Can't be out here lacking Cause nowadays It's the dimes that be trapping Oh my god These hoes Distractions. That pussy cold, leave you frozen in action. I get it though. Nobody told you what happened when you've been faithful, but your main girl been a hoe. Oh my god, these hoes, distractions. That pussy cold, leave you frozen in action. I get it though. Nobody told you what happened when you've been faithful, but your main girl been a hoe. I took a couple days off, I need a break from this shit. So many hoes fall to me, I need a rake in this bitch. Down in the pussy, the shorty must got a lake in the bitch. My hat to cuff, I honestly like the taste of the bitch. She bout the nut, I'm bout the nut, we bout to race in this Bitch. I need my kids all on the face like the face of this bitch Bakery buns, I swear that she got the cake in this bitch Got me like, hold on, let me bake in this bitch Calm it down, calm it down Don't nobody make a sound, make a sound Nah no. Look around, look around for a dime She ain't take away your crown Yeah Calm it down, calm it down Don't nobody make a sound, make a sound Nah no. Look around, look around for a dime She ain't take away your crown She ain't take away your crown these hoes, distractions, that pussy cold, leave you frozen in action. I get it though. Nobody told you what happened when you've been faithful, but your main girl been a hoe.